welcome back so now in this video as you guys know already we successfully implement the login screen as you guys can see right in here okay and also the sign up one and we test it successfully okay now let me show you also the forget password there we go now the next thing we should do we will simply close that forget password screen dot dot right from here and we will create a new directory and I'm gonna name this as a jobs that's fine now right inside that directory in this folder right click and create a new dot file and we're gonna name this as a job screen so whenever the user will log in from here we will simply push the user to this job screen so that's gonna be our home screen so in here we will have a start for widget so write ST and there we go with the start for now we're gonna name this as a job screen we don't need this key delete this and simply click on the start for widget import the library material dot dot there we go so there's our job screen for now we will close that and leave this empty the next thing we will do we will simply create a new dot file right in the lib and we're gonna name this as a user underscore state now in that we will have a stat list widget so write st and there we go with a stat list widget now we're gonna name this as a user state we don't need this key tell this and click on the stat list widget and import the library material dot dot there we go now we will copy that name and go towards the main dot dot open that and here we will remove that login okay and we will just use the user state import the library user state there we go so the error has been gone that's fine from here we will remove that now we will go first to the user state okay as you guys can see right in here first we will work writing this screen so in here we will return the stream builder there we go it's going to take the builder we will add it later just remove it for now and tag this down now write in the stream builder first it's going to take some properties the first one is stream and write in the stream what we will do we will say firebase or so firebase all dot instance we're gonna create that right in here import this library as you guys can see right in here so the error will be gone then just in a while now we will remove that and we will say dot auth stat changes that one as you guys can see right in here the error has been gone from the firebase auth instance now let's move further we will say builder and it's going to take the contacts and then simply the user snapshot which will have the user data and now let's check this down and right in there first we will set the if condition and in there we will simply say user snapshot dot data as I tell you it will contain the data if it's equal to null in that case 
what we will do we will print a message in which we will say user is not log in yet so if there will be no user data it simply means that if the user data if is equal to null then you will print this message that the user is not login yet otherwise what we will do that in the else if we will say user snapshot dot has data if it's content data what we will do in that case we will simply copy that from here and paste it right in here for time saving and in here we will say user is already logged in yet that's fine so now as you guys know if the user snapshot dot data if it's equal to now it simply means that if there will be no data for the current user and if it's equal to null then we will print this message that the user is not logged in yet so in that case what we will do we will simply return login screen okay we will send the user to the login screen in here we will show that login screen if the user snapshot dot data if it's equal to now import the library for the login and in the else if if the user snapshot dot has data if it's contain data then we will print that message that the user is already logged in yet so in that case what we will do we will simply log in the user and we will push it to the job screen as we created before so let me just see the name for that screen it's the job screen okay let me close that and in here use it all upon that now import the library job screen dot dot there we go the error has been gone so now you guys get the idea of that code okay now we will move further right below in here we will say else f and if the user snapshot dot has error if it's contain any error in that case what we will do we will simply return scaffold widget and write in this widget right in the body of the screen you will have a center widget and right in the center widget you will have a child and then let's have the text widget and right in the text we will say an error has been occurred try again later so as you guys already know if the user snapshot okay if it's contain any kind of error then as you guys know we will return that tax add the const modifier so the code will be clean from these yellow lines there we go now let's move further now simply what we will do we will copy that else app and down below in here we will paste it and in that case what we will do if the user snapshot dot connection state if it's equal to connection state dot waiting if there will be any kind of waiting so in that case as you guys know scaffold widget we use and 
add in the center widget and then use a child and we will remove that text instead of that we will show the circular per gas indicator there we go so if there will be any kind of waiting then we will show that now right in here we will simply return scaffold there we go and right in the scaffold right in the body center widget child text we will say something when wrong add the const modifier so the yellow lines will be gone down so all of the working has been done from the user state okay and there we go now let me check the mandar dot so here we use a user state as you guys know already now we will simply close that and also the user state and we will go towards the job screen dot dot in here we will remove that container and we will have a scaffold right in here so for now we will just add the app bar for testing purposes so that you guys know whenever we will log in there will be a job screen so we will show the app bar right at the top of a job screen so in here you will say app bar there we go and right in there you will say title and then text widget and right in the text we will say job screen now we will add the const modifier so that's all now simply what we will do we will test the app so how to load the app it is going to take some time just wait for a while so there we go now we will simply log in in here i will enter the mail share three six five four at the rate gmail.com and if you guys remember we successfully changed the password to the Zen Malik one two three four five visibility off now simply just click on this login and you guys will notice the job screen there we go it's working totally fine and now we are in the job screen and you guys can see the app bar and there is that tax job screen so later on we will implement a beautiful UI design for this job screen for now we just add that just for testing purposes and now you guys can get the idea that we are successfully logged in and we are on the job screen